What is up everybody, Jeff from Alpha Exotics here, and I'm going to be going back over my Leopard Gecko collection since you guys haven't seen any new additions since like August, which includes all six of my hatchlings, my crested gecko, and other new purchases throughout the year. So let's go ahead and get started with Reptar. I have my two normal females upstairs, and I'm getting heat tape for Christmas, so they'll be coming down here shortly, which Christmas is in, well, next week exactly since today's Thursday and everything but uh here's Reptar I'm not gonna really get her out she's in shed right now she laid six successful clutches for me well not six successful six clutches three of which were duds and three of which were successfully hatched um, all six hatchlings are alive and well and they have been since September she bred with Horace, who I'm going to show you next. He's my Blazing Blizzard male. And they produced Tremper, Het Blizzard, Het Eclipse, which I'm going to breed together next season and get the Abo Blancos. Oh my god, he's been in a bad mood, so uh, you might see me get bit by a gecko today. Whew, this is sketchy. Now, I don't feel comfortable sticking my fingers in here, so uh, let's use my trusty old Sharpie marker. Kind of push his tail. He just whipped me with his tail. With the marker, at least. He's. I've never really seen blizzards ex like make their bad attitudes known. So this is like a big shocker to me because he was the first gecko I've ever owned personally, and. Uh, I just never expected it from a gecko who was so sweet in the beginning. Oh, well, I guess that's all you get to see of him. But uh, that's Horace. If uh, the lighting will work with me, he's pure white, porcelain white, with a couple little freckles of yellow on his bumps. But aside from that, yeah, he's a blazing blizzard male. And if I can get his tub back, we can move on down to Draco. And Draco is my Maxno male. Maxno Posset Tremper, apparently. Uh, I might try to breed that out this season. But don't freak out because there's nothing in here. Because I've got a lot of dishes to do and his hide is sitting outside. And he's about to go into shed too. But this is... Draco, my Max Snow, Posset Tramper male, and he's the biggest gecko I have right now, and I think he's about 67 grams, which is freaking huge for, you know, not a giant or super giant, but anywho. Thirteen crapped in his water dish. See? This is the uh, perks of working with geckos. They crap everywhere. Uh, he's still he's still real jumpy, so handling is probably gonna be an issue. Yeah, here and barking at me. He bit me a while back. It didn't draw blood or anything, didn't leave a mark, but just let the record know he bit me. And he's breeding weight. He just became breeding weight as of last Sunday, whenever I fed them. He's 45 grams, probably bigger now since he finished all of his last... Get off of me, man. There we go. Since he finished all of his last dish. Moving down to the... I, could, I shouldn't say better genes or better morphs in my stuff, but... uh. This is a new one. You guys haven't seen this one unless you follow me on Instagram. By the way, follow me on Instagram, Alpha AF12. You can uh, see all the all my geckos and all my reptiles that I post up on there. But this is a white and yellow raptor toss giant. I got her from Apollo's Reptiles. The guy was really awesome. Usually these things run for about four hundred, five hundred dollars. I got her. For 200, actually it was 150 plus shipping, but 
I paid 210 because, you know, living in Illinois sucks. But anywho, she's freaking gorgeous. She doesn't have two full red eyes. Actually, I'll get her out and show you everything. But, uh, she doesn't have two full... Oh, she's trying to jump. Come here, Aurora. Come on now. She didn't need a dubious. Trying to get my you know, trying to get my geckos to eat dubias, so that way I can get them to fatten up for season. But uh, you can see she doesn't have two full red eyes. Her eyes need to adjust the light. She's got a 25% and a 15%. But her colors are freaking gorgeous. I'll get under the light. They are phenomenal. I know this light really isn't doing them justice. Like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, you get all the best pictures of my reptiles. So, moving along. Fussing with one hand again. Least favorite thing. This is, oh my god, he turned out so great. I love him. This is Dora. You guys remember my uh, little baby trimper head rap hypo trimper head raptor. This is him now. And I just want to say how remarkable he turned out. Look at that freaking carrot tail. It's gorgeous. He is probably going to breed both to Aurora and Reptar this season. And most of those hatchlings will be sold. Moving down to one I don't remember if I showed last time. Because I don't remember if I had him or not. But... Moving on to Loki, he hasn't grown much, you know, being a pet smart gecko. Oh, sorry, buddy. Come here. I've never heard him make that noise before. It's okay. There he is. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he's been growing because I don't think he's been eating his worms with the calcium on him. So I gave him a dish of calcium in the corner and uh, check his water every day and all that. All that goody goody. But he's been growing. I got him. He was about 16 grams and he just hit 23 the other day. Which I'm actually really, really proud of. And I'll show you Zephra, the SHTCT, before I show you all the hatchlings and one gecko that I am extremely excited about. Now, if you dislike this video because of my ramblings, I totally understand. This is Zephra. She is gorgeous. Oh my god. She's she's one of the steals that I've gotten. She was a uh, $40 from the tie dye to go on in Fairview Heights. And we had intentions of breeding her right as soon as we got her because my stepbrother had wanted to breed and everything. So we got her, wanted to breed, and well, never bred. I think I just put her in the wrong shelf. Yes, yes, I did. Anywho, moving on to my geckos, or my hatchlings. There's Nico, Calypso, Lumpy, Predator, Jax, and Ava's down here. Uh, we'll start off with the firstborn. He's a holdback born September. 13th, 2014, and he's a suspected male. He should be about big enough to where I can actually tell, but I check like every week and it doesn't really prevail. Huh, he hid. Now, whenever I first hatched him and Calypso, I kept them both in the same container and I had to make sure I had a way to uh, tell them apart. He's actually got a white spot right in front of his eye that I think is going to look really wicked whenever he gets bigger. But he is about to be pushing 10 or 11 grams, I think it was. Um, he's actually one of the brightest that I have. And the only reason, well not the only reason, but one of the reasons he's going to be a holdback for me is because, well, he was my firstborn gecko, like ever. I've never bred anything ever before, so. Moving on to Calypso. She was born a day after Nico. 
And all the geckos were like that, born a day after the one before, except for Jax and Ava. Ava was born two days after Jax. But um, I'm trying to, excuse me for pointing at the wall for a moment. I'm trying to come up with my own breeding manual to give new breeders a better look at how everything's going to be happening. But this is Calypso. She's spastic and one of the most developed females or one of the most developed hatchlings out of all the rest of them and see if I can get her into the light without spilling her water she's got most of her spots already and that bright yellow is turning into this faded and I'm starting to really like it and it's starting to freak me out because that first band is starting to turn almost all white and that would be amazing if she was a white and yellow, but I don't know where that would come from because it's in neither of the genes. So, that's Calypso. At the end of the video, I'll give you a little update on everything else that I have and everything else that I am getting and future plans and all this mumbo jumbo, or, you know, I might just do it in another video. It depends on how I feel. <laughs> this is Lumpy. And I call him Lumpy because his first band has a lump. It's not an actual lump, but it's a pattern pattern thing. And he's starting to get that white, the yellow fading into white like Calypso was. Oh, he crapped in his food dish. Okay, well, that's enough for you, buddy. Lumpy is probably one of my favorite hatchlings. I know it's not right to play favorites and all, but, you know, Lumpy's... I think he's going to look great whenever he gets done growing and fully developed and everything. <sighs> anyway, this was Predator. I named him Predator because he was the screamer out of the bunch and he would do anything just to scream. I'd spray his tub with water and he would just scream or I'd give him food and he would scream and he'd scream for anything. But this is him. He's already starting to get the spots on the white band around his head and he's got more pale stripes than the others just like Jackson Ava but all the other three have bright yellow stripes watch your tail buddy uh, I'm sorry if I uh, pause in the middle of my videos because this is new to me. I've never really made my own videos before. I've made videos of other people, but never making them for myself and all this everything. This is Jax. Um, aside from his name, he's a suspected female. And then, if that's the case, then I don't know what I'm going to do. But he's a holdback. And I didn't name this off as I went, but he's a holdback, Lumpy's a holdback, and Nico's a holdback. And I'm going to hold back one more, so that leaves two to be sold for probably 60, bu 60 bucks plus shipping. I didn't explain anything about him, did I? He's, uh, <clears throat> he's pretty developed, but he's not the biggest in size. He's 9 grams, I think. And he's already starting to develop a really, really pretty head pattern. And those spots look magnificent on the back of his head. Um, you can see his really pale yellow bands. And, well, yeah. That's Jax. This video is going to be longer than I anticipated. On to my last hatchling. That is Ava. Ava is the underdeveloped one, the most spastic out of all of them. And she is just now starting to develop her spots on the back of her head. She hasn't, she's kind of started to develop her head pattern, but other than that, she's still pretty small. And I don't know. She's starting to change those pale yellow bands into the bright yellow, like the like her other four siblings, other three, I don't remember. Anywho, on to the surprise gecko that I'm 
super excited about and I got for Christmas but you know ordered it too early so I got it early and I've been really excited to work with one of these morphs I've never ever thought that I was ever going to be able to work with one of these and dun, 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 dun. it's an enigma I never thought I'd be able to get an enigma anything and being able to get this enigma has changed how I thought about a lot. Uh, with he is a male. I don't have a name for him yet. So if you want to drop name suggestions, drop it in the comments. <sighs> he is actually really pretty. I did not expect this, having bought him from Big Big Apple, Big Apple Reptile Supply, at Big Ta Big Apple Herb. I don't know. But um, I got him from them, and he's really pretty. He's a juvenile. I think he's 23 or 24 grams. And with him in my collection, I can start to make a lot more enhanced morphs, a lot prettier morphs. So he's going to be doing a lot of work with me. And I'll show you Clyde. I just got Clyde not that long ago. Since I got a job so I can pay for this business, I've been able to get a lot of stuff. And Clyde is a crested gecko. He, I'm pretty sure he's an orange harlequin lateral stripe. And there he is. He's got dirt on his face because he doesn't know what dirt is. But he's got his food up there, his water, and the foggers down there. I basically kind of got him because he was a rescue. His ribs were shown whenever I first got him, but um... Anywho, I now have ball pythons, and these are secret animals that I am hiding from my mom and my stepdad and the rest of my family because they don't allow me to have snakes in my house. So, this is a baby male lesser that I bought, and he had mites, but I got rid of them. He is super pretty but he's really small and he's got shed stuck all over him so uh, looks like he needs a bath but yeah he's about foot long real skinny like here's my index finger for comparison so he'll stay still Let's see yeah he's really nice looking I, I loved him ever since I got him. Got him from my buddy Donovan. Sorry, I keep turning the camera away from what I'm looking at. It's uh, throwing me off too, trust me. <sighs> Gotta keep them covered up so that way nobody suspects them. But I don't see why they wouldn't because there's a giant towel in the way. Anywho. If anybody remembers, Aurora's trying to move her food dish to crawl around. But if anybody remembers my buddy Alex that was starting this business with me, I gotta set this camera down for a second. Anywho, if anybody remembers my buddy Alex that was breeding ball pythons for me, he, uh, he decided to get out of that and he never bred anything. So, he sold me his female pastel for 50, 50 bucks but she's 360 grams female pastel ball python you know basics but uh, she's really pretty and she loves me like anytime I get her out you see what she did she just went dead from my chest but she's gorgeous she's a really really pretty gecko, or gecko ball python used to geckos she's curious about the camera her name's Lily. I haven't come up with a name for the lesser male, so you want to drop me names for that too. Go ahead and drop them. But uh, yeah, that's that's Lily. And I'll show you some of the new equipment that I got too. And I guess I'll kind of review it, make it kind of quick. But this is the Reptibator that I used for this past season to hatch my eggs and that worked
fantastically. I absolutely loved it and <clears throat> have no complaints about it at all. This is the Exoterra. I don't know.